Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are looking at how to get content out of Unreal Engine. Now, this is something that's come up uh, basically for the last couple of years. As long as Unreal have been giving away free stuff, the comment always comes up, well, can I use this in X? Could I export this out and use it in Max Maya Blender? Could I use this in Crying Engine? Could I use this in the Godot Engine? And so on. And first off, we're not going to cover that from a legal perspective. I've talked about that in each one of those releases. It seems like it depends on content by content base. I'm not a lawyer, and I'm not giving you legal advice. Instead, what I'm going to give you is technical advice. I'm going to show you the process of getting stuff from Unreal, from Unreal's proprietary format, export it out so you can use it in your um, application of choice. And the great news is uh, getting a 3D model out, exceedingly easy. Uh, getting a textured 3D model out, well, that's a bit more work. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to grab this guy right here. We're going to pull this sign model, uh, as you can see it right there, and we're going to export it out and then open it up in Blender in this tutorial. So first off, let's go ahead and select this guy. I've already done so. It's open up over here in the content viewer. Um, that's the model we are working with. Obviously, you can see it is flipped on its side. A couple things to be aware of here. First off, it is available in um, this two materials defined on this guy. That's going to be relevant in a few minutes, basically the frame and then the sign itself. Now, if you want, you can open up at any particular time. Open one of these guys up. I've opened a content browser window in this to try to keep everything together. But here you can see the material behind this guy. So we've got base color, a metallic map, specular map, roughness map, normal map, all defined. We're actually only going to use uh, a couple of those just to keep this a little bit brief, but it'll show you the process. Now, first off, you can grab all of these individual textures yourself from the shader. You basically come on in here, select it here. It'll come up down here. You can locate it there, and then basically you recreate this guy uh, as, uh, you know, one by one by one. That's a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to show you how to do it via baking. Uh, so that is the material that is uh, defining this guy. Again, we're going to only look at base, um, roughness, and normal map for this particular walkthrough. Uh, but that's the material, as you saw. Here is the model. Now, first things first, let's look at getting this model out. So here we're in this, uh, this is a modular building set. This is one of the giveaways that Epic Games did in the past. Going to meshes here, and this is the really easy part. Store signs, this is our sign right here that I used to open it up in this viewer in the first place. And then all you've got to do to export this guy out is right click, and then go to asset uh, actions, export. So that's it. Getting a 3D model out is really, really easy. We're going to dump this guy on the desktop. When you go ahead and click save, it's going to give you some options. Uh, you can pick the, F, um, the formatter version. You get the mesh. You get the collision mesh if you want it. If you don't want it, you can turn that off. We can also turn that off uh, in Blender, as we will see in just a few seconds. Um, and you can get the animations out, whatever. But what you're not going to get, as you're going to see, so I'm going to let this guy go ahead and do an export. Um, so that should show up on my desktop right there. All right, so open up the default viewer, and there you see. So what you're actually seeing is the collision mesh around it, but that is our model. You might notice it is, however, not textured. That is part two of this process, and that's where things get a little bit more painful. So let's go back again into our viewer. So now we've got to go ahead and export out the textures. As I said, you could open up the material, locate each individual texture from this guy, and then recreate the shader completely in your tool of choice. But what we're instead going to do with this guy selected, you'll notice up here it says bake out materials. Select bake out materials. You got some options for like blend mode and so on. I'm going to stick with opaque. Um, and then you can see at default, we have the diffuse. So what I'm going to do is set the, sec uh, the texture size. I know these are 1K source textures. So I'm going to stick to that 1K by 1K. And then, <coughs> excuse me, uh, once we're good, so we got the fuse being baked out. And if you want, you can have each individual channel be its own size by overriding right here. So now let's go ahead and add another channel out. In this case, we'll dump out the roughness and we will dump out the normal map. Now, well, before I click go ahead, one thing I want you to notice is there are two materials here. So we're actually going to get six maps as a result of this. So go ahead and we can now go ahead and confirm. And this is going to bake all the materials out. Now, this is one thing I don't know how to get around. It automatically bakes them into the same directory as the mesh. Um, I don't know how to set a baking directory, which is kind of annoying. Because if we could have the bake straight out to a folder, it would take it one whole step out of this process. So it doesn't update automatically, by the way. So just go back into store signs. And now you'll see we've got two new materials, which were automatically applied. And then our six baked out textures. So you can see we've got names here. So base color, this is trim trim and trim. So there's our roughness uh, and so on for it. For this one, just to keep it so that this stays kind of short, I'm just going to do for the trim one, we'll just take out the base. So just go ahead, just right click it once again and go to um, asset actions and export. And then we can just do, this is a trim 
and we'll call that color. Dump that onto our desktop. Now what I want to do is get the sign stuff. So we'll just go ahead, asset exit. So right here, let's go, and we'll call this sign color. Obviously you saw we could have baked out more details if we so wished, but we didn't just for time savings. But if you wanted more detail, you could bake out all of those various different channels that were available. You could also bake them out at a different resolution if you so wished. So that's the sign normal map. And then the, finally, let's go ahead and export out our sign roughness map. And that will be right here. So asset export, export that guy out. And then sign, sign, <laughs> sign rough. All right, so we got four maps. Again, we could have done the other two, not going to bother. And at this point in time, we're basically done with Unreal Engine. So now we need a tool of choice. Here we are, default scene, Blender 2.8. Two, I think this is. Uh, go ahead. So importing the FBX, super simple. File, import FBX, find it, and bring it in. So there is our store sign. You'll notice it doesn't quite look like what we would expect. Well, that's because we've got this outer guy here. This is your, um, your collision map. So you could actually delete it if you wish. I'm just going to hide it in this particular case. And here is the guy that we are working with. With it selected, if I go into materials, you'll see it already has two defined for it. So we don't have to do any UV map work or anything. We just have to redefine these particular materials. So let's start things off with the trim because there's only the one diffuse channel there. So we're going to open this guy up and we will open up our shader editor. Now, obviously, your process is going to be a little bit different depending on where you're going at this point. If you're bringing it into a different game engine or a different art tool or whatever. So let's go ahead, delete that delete that and what we care about here is just the diffuse color texture coming in we'll delete that one out i will minimize down so that is our trim just drop our trim channel in here and hook that into the color channel right there switch this guy over so we can actually see our textures and you saw our outside edge is now textured all right so now what we want to do is go to the big guy that's the sign uh, so let's maximize this guy for one second and we'll switch to the store sign and then here we are once again Get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that node right there, and we'll bring in our materials. So let's go on back to our desktop like so. We've got our three materials that we're going to work with. Apparently, I can't bring in multiple, so let's bring them in one at a time. There's our normal. There's our roughness. All right, so there we go. So we're back in Blender. We've got all of our materials in. Let's bring our normal in. Just hook that up to our normal map like so. Our color is going to go to our color base color to base color like so and suddenly our sign is looking a whole lot more signy and then finally we have our roughness map oops that's not where i wanted you Oop, that's not what i wanted either all right here we go so let's not drop that on a pin on the way by and we will drag that into the roughness like so all right so there we go and the only difference that you've really got between this guy right here and this guy right here here so we've got basically the exact same object other than obviously it's rotated so let's go back to blender and then the difference is blender is obviously being lit with some environmental mapping so if i come in here i can go ahead and add in some lighting uh, let's add a point light in here move that guy down there so move that guy up a bit so there you go so once we get the uh the lighting in and matched you basically have an identical version and we could obviously bring in, uh, you know, more of those maps. We could bring in the normal maps and uh, roughness maps, etc., for this frame around the outside edge. So we're losing a little bit of detail in here. So, you know, obviously you would normally have the normal map brought in, get a little bit more detail back. But you see you've got your roughness and color and normal all on the main part of the sign. And the rest comes down to, you know, lighting your scene to look exactly like that. But otherwise, there is content brought from Unreal Engine into Blender. So again, bringing something in uh, from a mesh perspective is super, super easy. Really, you just right-click it, uh, actually export it out, and then boom, your mesh comes out. But unfortunately, the process of bringing out the textures is a bit more problematic. And the, I found the easiest way is just to do the bake for all the channels you want and then bring those out one by one. Another thing that you can do here is you can actually, again, select all of the textures at once and do a bulk export. So now with multiple selection, you've got the option for a bulk export. Uh, and then you pick the folder where you want it to go. Now, what's annoying here is it seems to preserve its file structure. So here you see game, building, meshes, store signs. 
and then there is our texture and we're actually only getting a couple of the textures anyways so the bulk export has been problematic it might still be loading at this point in time i'm not 100 percent certain uh but i found the bulk export stuff kind of problematic now if you work with this stuff on a more regular basis and you know a way to either specify when you do the bake to an external directory which would save all kinds of time or how to get the bulk export working a bit better i would love to hear it in the comments down below but there you saw yes you can get unreal engine assets out of unreal engine looking exactly like what they look like in Unreal Engine. And it, with the baking, it actually, if it's a really complicated model, it does make it quite a bit easier. Um, but uh, yeah, there is some work involved in recreating the texture part of things. Now there is a text version of this available down below, it goes through some of the highlight stuff. And uh, I'm thinking about doing something similar for um, Unity as well. Uh, Unity kind of preserves assets in their original format, but there are some some things to be aware of. So I might do a follow-up video on that as well, getting assets out of Unity. Let me know if you're interested in that, and I may do that down below. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's Unreal Engine exporting content out. Hopefully some of you guys found that useful. And uh, once again, a bit of a reminder, because you can do it doesn't mean it's legally right to do it. Make sure your license allows it before you continue. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.